Hello, welcome to my channel. Um, my name is Pippa Brown and this is my application, I guess, for the Black Needle Society. Now I've got my phone just below me because there's tag questions to ask and um, that's going to keep me maybe on track. But I would love to be considered as a rep. Um, now you may have a bit of um, a question about my accent because I am actually living in Australia. I'm actually living in Tasmania, which is right down the very bottom on the island. Um, but I am originally from Ireland. We, I moved here in 2000 with four young children and now I'm a full-time working mum with a toddler and two step kids and my kids are all grown up. So, um, how did I come up with my floss tube name? Well, it's as original as, well, yeah, batch it, but I don't normally um, swear much in my floss tubes. But yes, it is my name on the channel. I didn't, I, when I started my um, YouTube and watching YouTube, I kind of thought, well, I am who I am. So hence the name Pippa Brown, um, you might see your yeah, hands. Um, so yeah, I couldn't kind of think of a hobby name or anything kind of cliched. I don't tend to do cliche. Um, which you might see from my other videos. Um, so yeah, that's that's why I came up with that. And Pippa Brown is still a kind of um, nickname, I suppose, of mine. At any rate, it's kind of like my alter ego and has grown into being me, or I've grown into being it. I'm not sure. Um, why did I want to be a Black Needle Society rep and or VIP? Well, look, I'd love a chance for either, to be honest. I actually have a needle shop close to me in my city called A Stitch in Time, and they do subscription um, bags and, and boxes. I've got two from them so far. It's called a Sassy Pouch. And the first one was uh, their birthday pouch, and the second one was the Rocky Horror Show. And when I got the first pouch, I didn't have a clue what I was getting into. And each thing was wrapped like a birthday present and glitter was falling out. And it was like, oh, it was like my party, let alone them having a one year celebration. So there was that pouch. And then the sassy pouch with the Rocky Horror Picture Show was so much fun. Everything was red. There was little gifts that you wouldn't necessarily expect. And it, yeah, it was just a lot of fun opening all these different things and not knowing what you expect. And it is like opening a, um, a birthday present, you know, 10 gifts, 12 gifts, I think, in each one. Um, lots of little tri um, tri tips, not tips, treats even. Treats. Uh, so there was chocolate, I think, in one. And I haven't had that kind of chocolate for ages. It was, you know, from one of the local companies. And it was just a little piece of chocolate. And that kind of thing is just, you know, the delicious touches, I think, that good subscription boxes have. So, yeah, I'm... I'm on board with them and I have actually joined they have three thread clubs um, I may not keep going with those because some of them go for 127 months because of such a huge thread collection um, but again um, they will consolidate and it'll be a surprise what I get and that kind of thing so yeah really really enjoy um, being part of a subscription box and the delight of getting a pack like that. I've never done a, a floss retreat. I started floss. I started cross stitch back in the 90s um, and then took a break when my kids were small. So um, yeah, it's been a very long time and I don't know that I've ever actually done a floss retreat. I've done other retreats, um, but not with craft like that. Hmm. How would I promote our boxes? Well, I've got my YouTube channel. And I have my Instagram um, business page, I suppose, for want of a better word, um, the pippabrown.sm. And I've got my Facebook page, pippabrown.sm. I think, or no, sorry, it's Pippa Brown um, on Facebook. And then I've got my personal Facebook page. So, um, yeah, I don't tend to do any of my plus stuff on Facebook on my private page, but the business page, the Instagram and the YouTube, that's my thing. Um, getting very familiar with doing that. I have been doing videos now for a year and a half um, with both diamond painting and floss tube. Now I do my floss tube videos on weekends. So anything floss related, um, so floss tube 
from me the main floss tube video showing my stitching progress and everything else that goes up on the first saturday of the month my time it goes up at midnight so i think you might get it on a friday night over in the states and then i might do a flip through with a magazine um i'll show things like the knit crates or other kind of um, be stitch me's or um, mystic fabrics that kind of thing they go on the weekend videos if you know they don't have an appropriate slot during the week but i try and keep the floss related subject matter to the weekends uh, what is my favorite stitching accessory well i've actually got them here so i'm gonna jump the camera and you will see sorry i'm looking at my screen which is um all kinds of big and it's moved anyway um so look this is one i got this new and um i will insert a picture here with my light my light i wouldn't be without my husband actually 3d printed it and it sits over my left shoulder usually or left forward and this has been a godsend i'm working on the cunning cross stitch letters from hogwarts and the dark queen of the seas i couldn't have done my one over one on my 28 can lid without this baby um it's brilliant um really really enjoy that and this again if you look through my videos this is what i use as my project pouch these are a heavy duty ziploc bag from aliexpress and there is like my peppermint purple stitch along bag and they're easy to grab and go and keeps everything clean and i think these are just the bee's knees so they are my accessories my go-to things um there uh what about non-stitchy items that i always have close at hand while stitching chocolate gotta have chocolate um i try and limit my chocolate as much as i can and because this is irish chocolate I, it also costs me a small fortune to get from my supermarket um, or my dad sends it to me once a month when the mail is working, which is not always um, as happens. I will pop you back on the face. Um, what is my favourite item that you've seen from the Black Needle Society box? Okay, I've seen two boxes on the Black Needle site and there's the Hogwarts and uh, Frog, Frogwarts and there was the other one i can't think what it is now uh, the show one um i actually my favorite of either of those boxes which i haven't actually seen in person and if i'd known that it was there before july i would have bought it um the mug looks incredible and i know you've said that the artist put in something like 100 hours of work with my cunning cross stitch and i will insert a picture here for my cunning cross stitch work i actually have that progression style thing that Stuart designed so I've got the owl and then I've got the train heading to Hogwarts I actually reversed the stitching from Stuart's design that was a doozy and then I've got the castle which is the modified castle and then I've got the nine and three quarter station sign so having that the mug with the train on it that's yeah that's just my jam um what vendor are you dying for us to include you know what I'm kind of unsure what is out there in the states i think you're spoiled for choice we don't seem to have a lot of choice here in australia um i can get the week style works i can get the thread as uh, thread works sorry i'm still fairly new with some of the names for the threads they didn't have threads like this when i started cross stitching the cross stitch world is incredible now um from 20 years ago um we've got the cgt cottage garden threads in australia um they're gorgeous um they come in finger length kind of skeins they're wound around but they have them rigged in such a way that when you unravel the twist and you pinch the label you can actually pull out your thread to a 12 inch length without unraveling everything in the thread it's a really really clever clever design so you're not dealing with miles and miles of floss you're just dealing with your single lengths and it's really easy to work with and you know that kind of innovation is really really cool and we get that coming out of australia so i don't look if you could incorporate something like cottage garden threads it's a home-based business as far as i know it's a mum and daughter up on the mainland 
and they they make this but to have that market showcased in the states um yeah that would be really really cool really really cool um so yeah look this is me um like i said um i do the floss tubes on the weekend um i actually got back into cross stitching because of claire brad bradburn claire from peppermint purple um she was doing the um stitch along for 2020 i joined it in week nine had all my gear by week 11 had to catch up and then got enabled by her and Blackwork and started getting into cross stitch and Rachel Ray will enable me just like I've enabled her by getting her to join in on the Dark Queen of the Sea stitch along. So yeah, we enable each other and then we've got um, other friends, other creators as well that it's kind of like, hey, come along and join with us. And then I've also enabled um, my friend up in Queensland. So yeah. Um, it's being a part of a community and a team of girlfriends, boyfriends, whatever, girlfriends, um, doing a project, you know, at the same kind of time, it really, it gives you the motivation. It gives you the help. I'm having a problem with Pattern Keeper or whatever it might be. Um, you know, it's just really, really cool. I didn't have that when I was young mum originally doing my cross stitch and I think being able to have the world of the internet at our feet now is awesome um, and being able to see what's available and have things that can ship to us because online shopping again was another thing that I just did not have um, there was no online shopping back when I started you know on um, God um, ICQ kind of era back in the 90s it was, there was just nothing there so it was can you make it to the to the shop and with young kids you can't and so having this online ability and then it's around the world as well um, I think it's really really cool and you can jump in on somebody's videos without it being live and not feel like you're missing out so um, we're very spoilt for choice I think um, these days I think it's really really cool so look, yeah, um, that's me. I would love you to consider me as a rep um, for Australia, showcasing the Black Needle Society work in Australia. And most of my watchers are from the States. Um, it's, I think it's something to do with Australia. We, we don't tend to maybe be online. Um, it's a different, very different culture, much more outdoorsy perhaps. So yeah, my, my YouTuber base currently seems to be predominantly stateside on my analytics so yeah give me a chance bye may the road rise up to meet you may the wind be always at your back may the sun shine warm upon your face and the rain fall soft upon your fields and until we meet again may god hold you in the palm of his hand <laughs>